hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Why do I do that? Why? <laughs> So, for today's video, I want to talk about the series Caraval and the other two books. <laughs> so, I want to say I read Caraval about two years ago uh, ish, give or take. Um, I'm, I'm going with two years ago. So, with the very last book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series that's coming out, um, I do believe it's still coming out in October. It's been pushed back a bit. Um, so we'll see. It's coming soon anyway, hopefully. So, I wanted to do a dive back into the world of Caraval, because I do still remember it fairly well um but i wanted to like re i don't know re re, re go, i wanted to go back into the world basically so just get that little refresher before uh getting into the once upon a broken heart series so i do have book number two um but i don't have book number one so uh i'm i'm waiting for it however so there's a thing with that. So, the Once Upon a Broken Heart, book number one, it has been out for a bit, and a <laughs> so basically you haven't been able to get a hold of the book in hardback form, because uh, the paperback's easily enough to get, but I want the hardback because all the other ones are in hardback. Um, so, getting a hold of that has been a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. However, very, very, uh, I, I noticed that on Waterstone's website that they were putting up the hardback of Once Upon a Broken Heart again. So I did, I did pre-order it. It, uh, it hasn't arrived. Um, it, they haven't even taken out the money for it. So I don't know when that's gonna happen, but, um, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> the whole reasoning is that I did not want to pay £200 for book number one on eBay because the only like copy I could find of it is like a special edition. I don't care about the spe special edition. I just want the like pastely UK hardback cover of it. I don't want the American one because it won't fit with the book number two I have. So, you know, issues. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Let's get into Caraval and, um, you know, forget about my ramblings about the Once Upon a Broken Heart series issues, book issues I have. Um, and let's just dive back into a caraval. So, a legendary competition, a mesmerizing romance, an unbreakable bond between sisters. <laughs> that is, um,. Uh, basically, uh, not the tagline, but basic gist of this book. So, Scarlet Dragna has been dreaming about going to Caraval her entire life. Or rather that Caraval would come to her because, um, well, she's kind of stuck on this island. <laughs> Scarlet and her sister Tella have never left the tiny island that they grew up on. And she doesn't really see the possibility of them leaving anytime soon, so Caraval, come to me, please. Their powerful and very cruel father has arranged a marriage for Scarlet. And she sees that as a way out of her father's grasp and as a way to save her sister from him too. So events lead to other events, as they do, and Tella ends up being taken. And now Scarlet must enter the very mysterious world that is Caraval. Because she doesn't know if Caraval is real or not, because it's a very mysterious, as I said, Scarlet must compete and win in order to save Tellus' life. So I still stand by that this first book could very easily 
just be a standalone. It's fun, it's an addictive page turner. Just don't read the epilogue and then you have a standalone. Bish bash bosh, done. So if you don't plan on reading more, don't read the epilogue and you're golden. Let's move on to book number two, which is a legendary. Ah, oh, to protect. Our debt to repay. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Our game to win. That is legendary. And because the story goes as it goes, we're also gonna talk about book number three, which is finale. Our love worth fighting for. Our dream worth dying for. An ending worth waiting for. Ding! <laughs> so, I don't want to hold up both books because I'm tired. Okay. The reason I bundle these two books up is because you cannot read one without reading the other one. While you could very easily read Caraval on his own, or you could read book number two and three on their own, although I do recommend you read book number one before you read book number two and three, because you will get a bigger sense of the world of Caraval and also of its characters, of its main characters anyway. It could be done, that is all I'm saying. <laughs> In the last two books, we mostly follow Teller's point of view, although we do get Scarlet every now and again. Teller is our main heroine, as it were. So Scarlet's plotline is basically just her trying to figure out her love life, so she doesn't feel all that important to the grand scheme of things. While Teller's point of view is a little bit more fun. In these ones, we find out that Teller has made a bargain with a mysterious criminal because <laughs> obviously that's the way to go. And she's done this all in the aid of finding her mother. Her mother, the Scarlet and Teller's mum, abandoned them long ago and now Teller's mission in life is basically to find her mother. As you do! But to deliver what Teller owns to this mysterious criminal, she basically has to put an end to Caraval. As what he wants is the Caraval Master Legend's true name. Basically, all hell breaks loose in these books. It's very entertaining and the pages, they turn very fast. However, there are so many unanswered questions. Reading them a second time around, I didn't really get the answers to the questions I was seeking from having read them the first time around. And this being like the full series, I'm like, where do I get these answers? Why are they not in these books? So it makes it a bit frustrating, but if you can see past that, it's a good time. Now, as the Once Upon a Broken Heart series follows one of the characters we meet in this series, Caramel, I do hope that maybe that series can shed some light on this series, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not like holding it against it. If it doesn't, I'm just there for a good time. So we'll see when that vlogs comes or video comes because I will be doing a video on that series as well. Yes, I will. The thing is though, uh, I keep hearing like mixed things. So I don't know if Once Upon a Broken Heart is taking place before or after Caraval, so we'll see. We'll see when that happens. Uh, when I, like, finally get my hands on book number one and three, four, one and three. Oh, wow. <laughs> Either way, I'm excited and um, yeah. That is the end of uh, the video and thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, I'll take care. Oh, bye-bye.